Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag O' Day Crochet, where we talk about anything that is crochet and yarn related, and sometimes knit. So today we're going to be talking about crochet, and I'm going to be showing you a stitch crochet tutorial. <clears throat> now don't forget to look in the description box. I have a link to a playlist with all my tutorials. There's over a thousand anything you could ever want to make and multiples of them. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you about this stitch. This stitch I think has a few different names, but I've always known it as the Ocean Waves Stitch. So I decided to do it in blue. <laughs> but it is very, very pretty. If you see, it has quite a bit of texture. It's so easy. It's just a one row repeat. And it does look the same on both sides, which is always a plus. It's not, I wouldn't consider it a yarn eater. Um, probably just kind of medium in that field as far as much as the yarn that you use. Just you know, normal. But see that? It's got quite a bit of texture. It's very, very pretty. So um, the things that this would work well for is pretty much anything. If I was, you know, a blanket, absolutely a gorgeous blanket. Um, a top, like a sweater or something, you could use it for that. Of course, a scarf, a cowl, anything along those lines. You could make it in cotton and use it for a hot pad. Uh, line it and use it for a pot holder if you use the right, you know, cotton. So, you know, pretty much anything you can think of, you know, this is going to work out for you. And it's going to give you a nice texture. But, yes, it's definitely great for blankets and scarves. And I love that it's just a one row repeat and the same on both sides. So, why don't we go ahead and get started and I'll talk to you about the yarn that I used. So, this for this particular... Uh, tutorial here for this stitch tutorial. I used a Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And this is a very, very beautiful ombre. Um, the color of it is. It is a medium weight number four, 100% acrylic yarn. And the color I'm using is Scuba. Now, depending on whatever project you make, you can use any yarn that you want. But this is what I use for the purpose of the stitch tutorial. And I'm also going to be using a I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So depending on what yarn you're using, um, you might want to use whatever it recommends on the back. So we'll go ahead and start off. Now this stitch is done in a multiple of four plus two. So you go ahead and start a slip knot on your hook. And you need to do multiples of four until you get, so just chain like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you keep doing that until you get it the width that you want it to be in multiples of four. So if you're doing a scarf, you know, maybe six, I usually do my scarf six or eight inches. You're doing a blanket, maybe depending on what size of blanket. Um, you make it in a multiple of four for however wide you want your blanket, and then you add two more stitches. So a multiple of four and then your two. Now we're going to go ahead and start row one by doing a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So we never count the one that's on our hook. One, two, second one over, and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to work across my chain and I'm going to put one single crochet into every single stitch of the chain just like this so row one is one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of your row just like that all right so once you make it to the end of row one um, we'll go ahead and start row two so we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we can just pretend like it's not even there. And we're gonna work right back into this very first stitch here. This very first one. And we're gonna put three double crochets into that very first stitch. So there's one, two, and there's three. Now we're going to start the repeat of row two. We are going to skip three stitches. So skip, skip, skip. And in the next one, we are going to single crochet. Like that. And then we're going to work a chain of three. One, two, three. 
and then we're going to go back into that stitch same one that we single crocheted into and work three double crochets so there's one two and three so in that same stitch we worked a single crochet a chain three and three doubles and now we're going to repeat that so we're going to skip three stitches again skip 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 and in the next one we're going to put a single crochet a chain of three back into the same stitch as that single crochet we work three doubles one two and three and we repeat it again skip three skip 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 and in the next one we single crochet chain three one two three go back into the same stitch as the single and work three doubles so this is the, what we're going to repeat until we get to the last four stitches of our row skip three skip 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 and then we'll do a single chain three and three doubles back into that same stitch remember until you get to the last four stitches of your row all right so i've made it here to and i have four stitches that remain one two three four i'm going to skip three skip 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 and then the last one i'm just going to end by putting a single crochet into the last stitch and that will end row two that's what it looks like so far now we're going to start row three and row three is the repeat row so row three is the one that you're just going to keep repeating back and forth back and forth you're going to chain one and turn your work and again that chain one does not count as a stitch now we're going to go back into this very first stitch that single crochet from the previous row and we're going to work three double crochets into it so there's one two and there's three and now we're going to start the repeat of row three we are going to go we're going to skip these two double crochets here and this last double crochet of the group of three we are going to do a front post single crochet around this stitch so what we're going to do remember you skip these two skip skip and this double crochet before the chain instead of going into the top of it we go around the post of it like that and then we just single crochet that's what gives it the look where the stitches are popping out and now what we're going to do is chain three one two three and then this chain space here from the previous row we're going to work three double crochets through it so we're going to yarn over and just right through the space work three double crochets there's one two and there's three just like that and now that is what we're going to repeat so we're going to come over here to the last double crochet before our chain space right here and we're going to do a we just skip all of this right here this last double crochet before this chain space we do our front post single crochet so instead of going into the top you go around the post of it and single crochet like that and then we're going to chain three and then back into this chain space right here it's kind of behind now we do three double crochets just like that now we're going to repeat that again so we skip all this and the last double crochet before you see the chains get to the chain space do a front post single crochet so go right around the post of that last double crochet there and single crochet and chain three 
and then the chain three right here which kind of got put in the back after you did that front post single crochet we work three double crochets through the chain so there's one two and there's three and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of our row all right i'm coming to the end of row three and i just did three double crochets into my last chain space what i'm going to do now is end by putting a single crochet into the very last stitch just like that and that will end row three and that is the repeat row so you just keep repeating a row three back and forth back and forth so chain one and turn i'm just going to repeat what i did on row three i work three double crochets back into the very first stitch and now i'm going to put a front post single crochet around the double last double crochet here that's next to the chain space front post single then i'm going to chain three and then the chain space here that kind of got pushed to the back we're going to work three double crochets right through that space so we're just repeating what we did on row three again find your last double crochet that's next to the next to the next chain space and do a front post single crochet right around it like that chain three and then this chain space back here three doubles right into the chain space so i'm just repeating what i did on row three and you want to keep it doing that until you get your pattern or what your object whatever you're making as big as you'd like it to be whether it be a blanket or a scarf or whatever you're making All right, and after a few repeats, it starts to look like this. Super cool and super awesome. I love this. I'm gonna make something out of this. I think I might make a beautiful top or a sweater of some sort. But anyways, you keep repeating this rose and you notice that it's not straight on top. Now I can show you how to straighten it out like I did right here. So you can, if you're making a blanket or something, you can put a nice border on it. Or if you're making a top, you'd be a straight edge here for some that you could sew it together. Or you can leave it like this if you like. But I'll go ahead and show you how to straighten out the top. So you've got it as big as you want. Now this is what we're going to do to straighten. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Remember, this will be the last row once you're as big as you want to be. And we're going to go ahead and put three double crochets back into that same very first stitch there just like we did before there's one two and there's three now what we're going to do is we are going to jump over to the chain the next chain space chain space here and we're going to go right into the space and just put one single crochet just a regular single like that and now we're going to come down here to this single crochet here see that right down here and we're going to put three double crochets into this single remember this is the finishing row this is the only time that you have to do this this is to get a straight edge on top three doubles and now we're going to repeat that so we're going to jump to our next chain space which is right here and we're just going to go right through the space and put one single crochet just a regular single and then down here where the single crochet is from the previous row we're going to work three double crochets into it one two 
three. And again, we jump to the next chain space and put go right through the space and just put a regular single crochet. And then down here in the single crochet from the previous row, we work three double crochets into it. And we're gonna repeat this until we get to the end of our row. And I'm coming up on the end right now, single crochet right here into that last chain space. And this last single crochet down here, once you make it here to the end, three double crochets into it. And we will end our final row by putting a single crochet into the top of the last stitch. Just like that. And that will give you a straight edge on top so you can put, you do whatever you want to do, a border or whatever um, your heart desires. But that is it. Isn't it beautiful? This is what it'll look like after, after a few repeats. I love it. And I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along. And I cannot wait to see what you make with this. You can show me a picture of my bag of day crew face crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other great tutorials or my yarn, con yarn content, which is always fun. And give this video a like if you were able to follow along okay. And until next time, have a good day everybody. Bye guys!